Welcome to Inside the Legend, where we bring you history and fiction's most notorious figures and pour hot, steaming light on history's mysteries. Join Chaz Hannigan and Rhonda Cocapelli as they probe Inside the Legend. Good evening, and welcome to Inside the Legend. I'm your host, Chaz Hannigan. My co-host, Rhonda Cocopelli, couldn't be here tonight as she is busy finishing her nightly human sacrifice. How many hacks is the max amount of wax to the face with an axe? I haven't done the math, but my guest today has. Please say hello to Miss Lizzie Borden. Oh my God, Chaz, I'm so excited to be here. I can tell by your wide-eyed girlish enthusiasm. It's like totally my dream to be on the set of Inside the Legend. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna explode. I would recommend against exploding. That chair is a rental. Oh, sorry. So tell me, Lizzie Borden. Uh huh. What was it like killing your parents? Oh my God, my parents are so lame. They just don't get me, you know? I do know many things. <laughs> what I don't know is, were there truly a total of 81 wax? Oh my God, that stupid poem. It's so lame. Whoever wrote that should totally like die or something, right? As should most poets. Uh, uh, who did write it? Oh, my that? manager. He totally died. It was awesome. Uh-huh. Wait, you had a manager? Oh, yeah. You know when this thing happened? I was like totally famous and this little guy comes up and he's like, hey, you should totally do something about that. So I totally did. <laughs> oh, totally. Uh, what was it that you did? I became the spokesgirl for Borden's Brainborn Battle Axes. Guaranteed to do the job in 40 wax or less or the 40 first is free. Ah. Which is so stupid because it only takes one whack if you do it right, right? <laughs> ooh, 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 yes, yes. One whack per victim. That is true economy of motion. You, uh, you, you like axes? Oh my god, Tab. I love them so much. I have like every model and I also follow every axe man. Um, some of my favorites. George Washington, the Tin Man, that one guy Slash from GNR, and oh my god. My favorite, my very favorite. <laughs> I can't wait. Where is he? Where is he? Where? Where is he? Who wears who? Ah, uh, only the most awesome axe man in all of history or fiction, one Mr. Paul Bunyan! Uh, <laughs> Lizzie, uh, Paul Bunyan isn't uh, coming tonight. You are our guest today, Miss Lizzie Borden! Am I the only guest? Yeah, we try not to mix our mythological with our historical. I got an email that insinuated I was going to be united with my crush today. Uh, I don't, that must have been a, I, we, we he's not here. Are you sure? If it's a problem, I... Oh, it's not going to be a, uh-oh, wait. What? Little Juicy thinks it might be a problem. Little Juicy? Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe I could put in a call. Maybe so you could put in the call. Yes, he wouldn't get- Make the call, Dad! You are in your mind! Oh my gosh, is this my own TV show? Hi, I'm Lizzie Borden, and welcome to the Lizzie Borden Show. Ask me anything. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing an interview with my ax. Ready? Okay. Hey, how did you get here? I took the subway. Well, was that a good ride or not a good ride? It was an okay ride. You know what I like about subways? Ah, there's no traffic on the subway because it's just a subway. I like that too. Hey, did you ever have a pet cat? No, I did. His name was Whistler. Do you want to hear more about him? Oh gosh. Well, he was this little tabby cat and he had a short tail but a long whiskers on his face. What? Did you guys hear the axe talk to me without me talking like that? 